Hello and welcome back to visit Fowl Coast. It's a lovely sunny morning here in Blackpool and I'm going to finally do what I've been threatening to do for 12 months and I'm going to take you inside and we're going to go and have a look at the new Winter Gardens Conference Centre. I say new, it's just about one years old. It's just about a year since it was formally opened last year at the first Conservative Party Conference, which was the first event. So if you're new in these parts, make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications and make sure that you've signed up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. And then when we go on the roam in Blackpool looking at all the fabulous, fascinating things that are happening, you will get an alert and you'll be able to watch the video. Right, let's go and see what we can see, see, see. So you'll know that the main entrance to the Winter Gardens building is, is here on Church Street. Excuse the roadworks at the back of me, next to St John's Square. And this is, this is Leopold Grove. And this is where the main entrance to the conference centre is, just, to, just a little round the corner. Although the buildings are linked from inside. So this corner here is a huge loading bay where the, the trucks that are delivering all the stage equipment and the stage shows come back in. In fact, there's one in there now, look. It's, it is enormous. I've, I've been in there and it's, it's a very big space. Let's go down here and I'll show you through the crack. In fact, I think there's more than one truck in there looking at it. Let's have a look. Are you ready? Are you ready? There you go. Trucks. So all they need to do is to just back in and they've got full access. So the, the conference centre was opened by Boris Johnson last year on <coughs> Saturday the 19th of March 2022, which was the second day of the Conservative Party conference. The first one since 2007, 2007, um, because there'd not really been any suitable facilities to be able to hold such a big event anywhere in in the town and that's the lovely signage on the front of it look so this is a purpose-built building and if you're familiar with the area you'll remember that there used to be a gap between this which is the back of the empress ballroom and the buildings here on the corner of church street and this used to be an old car park in fact i'm that old i can remember when it used to be a brentford nylon shop which makes me very ancient and it's opposite Adelaide Street, thinking carefully, not Abingdon Street, it's opposite Adelaide Street car park currently, which is soon in the, in the medium term future to become the site of a Winter Gardens Hotel. So it's a £40 million investment and it's part of the £1 billion overall investment that's going off all over the place. In Blackpool, now this young lady is going to hold the door open for me. I am, I'm coming in. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when you get inside, you can see that it's a beautiful, modern building, sort of industrial architecture-esque, that marries to the old architecture of the old building. So the old building is still clearly visible, which I think is really nice and beautifully done. So it links over three floors. So downstairs takes you into the Empress Ballroom, which is down there. This is floor zero that we're on at the moment and there are meeting rooms at the back of us. And then on the first floor, there are more meeting rooms and conferencing space. So at the back of these doors, at the back of these doors there are big conferencing rooms and I'm going to be I'm going to be cheeky and open it and show you just inside because this is the room that's been used is all awry and is all set up it's either being set up or being set down I'm not sure which so that gives plenty of space for preparation and getting things ready and, and making making events happen. So that's what you don't see behind the scenes. This is, this is the beautiful exposed brickwork and the, the links into the, 
Empress Ballroom Bar down here. Meet Blackpool, this is your conferencing guide. Rather nice, rather nice brochure that describes all the winter gardens. I think I might have one of those for my for my collection. For my collection for perpetuity. And through these doors mark no exit, it takes you into the main winter gardens building. So the new, is it open? Oh yes it is, yes it is, let's go this way, let's squeeze through. Um, <coughs> so this is the, the main old building and you can see how it links the two together. So the new conferencing space has got facility for 2,000 guests, but overall the whole complex all linked together can take up to 7,000 delegates, which is quite a lot of people. I'm not sure how many, how many that would fill a double-decker bus, but it's quite a few, quite a few double-decker buses. And it's 2,400 square metres of space across two floors. So it's a whopping great big venue. I just love this brickwork. I think it's really, really attractive. So today, I'm off to the Visit Blackpool Season launch. And to do that, I'm going up to the first floor event room. So we've seen, we've seen inside a room that's the before, that's got all of the, the kit ready for set up, take down, whatever it is that they're actually doing. And we're going to go up into these rooms up here, which are all set up and ready and in preparation for a big event. What a lovely space. You could grow tomatoes in there, couldn't you? This is the Circle Hall Bar and Gallery. And there's a little, there's a little, um, little Juliet balcony here, look, as well, which is quite a nice feature. It's all locked up at the moment. It's all locked up at the moment, so we can't go and have a, have a look in there. So this is all the, this is all the clobber that's all ready for the Visit Blackpool event this morning. So we've got the big deck chair, if you can, if you can get back out of it, if you can manage to lift your legs up and, uh, and get back out. So this is the, one of the conference rooms in here. Do, 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 do. And this room's all set out for, for today's event. So you can see this in full swing when it's got all its stalls and tables and, and trade shows. And here's the big room, here's the big room all ready to rock and roll. So there's all the latest in cutting edge AV. There's um, all the sound and lighting and all the facilities that you could ever possibly wish for. So whatever you want to do with it as a venue, you can do. And there's all the rigging and all the stuff, <laughs> technical word, all up in the ceiling. So it's a brilliant space. Right, so we've had a look round this beautiful building and seen quite a few of the facilities and this is Peter Evans, the Deputy Managing Director and Operations Director, is that Morning, right? yes, that's correct. Yes, fabulous. So you are, you are a proud father, <laughs> uh, well, one of several proud fathers yes. to this lovely building. So, so how's, it, how's it altered what you can do as a, as a provider? How has it made um, life better? It's completely changed what the gardens can do, really. Yeah. Um, and the gardens is a, a, a complex of many different rooms. Mm. So it's, it was all built at very different times yeah. over the 140 years. So this is just the latest extension to our building. But what it gives us is a state-of-the-art facility connected to a 140-year-old building. And I don't think there's anywhere else in the country like it. So when people come, they see a, a stunningly brand new steel, glass and concrete, fully equipped, fully AV'd, fully, you know, 
moving walls, anything we can do, we can do. And we can stream from room to room. And then all they've got to do is walk through one door and they're in the ballroom, so which is 140 yeah. years yeah. old. Yeah. So it, 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 there's nowhere like it. No. And um, we've been able to welcome back conferences that we haven't had for a while because we're bigger, we can do things different. They still like the old fashioned tradition mm. of the winter gardens, but we add something different now. And some people say it's just a black box. It is, but it's a black box connected to a building that is very special. And I think that's what that that's the added quality that you now get at the gardens. It's a magic box. A magic box. It's a magic it, uh, box. I've not been quoted that before, but <laughs> definitely that. You can have that one. Thank you. Our, our technical team would definitely say it's a magic box. Um, like I say, technically advanced. The walls move in and out. Everything's controlled on an iPad. Um, we have AV in every room. We can split each of our larger rooms into small four rooms or two rooms or three rooms. Um, it's really flexible for what people want. Fabulous, thank you ever so much.